All right, guys. Hi, Michigan 4-Hers. We are going to do a quick tutorial tonight. Um, we are at the barn on lesson night, and I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time. Um, as a judge, I see lots of exhibitors at all levels, but mostly the open show and 4-H level, that have a difficult time showing in halter classes. Quick caveat for my fine type halter judges or friends that show fine type horses, the, the most of the things we'll cover today won't really apply to you. I know that those horses are exhibited much differently. Um, it's way more fun to watch if you've never been to like an Arabian halter show. Uh, but we're gonna talk about how you should show the halter class at 99% of open shows, what the um, judges are looking to see and what you should and shouldn't do. Should be a short video, but really useful because let me tell you, as a judge, I can tell you this is needed out there. So I'm gonna turn this around so you don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore. We can look at these cutie patooties. All right, so what we have here set up in the arena is just a couple cones like you would see in the halter class. So if you don't already know, um, a halter class is evaluating the horse's confirmation. I'm not gonna necessarily get into a big form to function talk tonight because, oh goodness, I'd go on for a really long time. Maybe we'll talk about it briefly. Maybe I'll just place this class quickly because uh, I think it will be a pretty placeable class. But um, we are concerned about the horse. I'm not so concerned about the rider or the showman um, and how they look and all those sorts of things. As long as everything you have is legal qu equipment and I'm happy as can be, okay? So we're gonna start out with Miss Olivia. Olivia. The most important thing when you approach the judge here, so go ahead and straighten her out so you're facing me and have her just lined up straight with me. Yep, you do not have to get your horse perfectly set up here, guys. I like them a little bit square, but just know that they don't have to be perfectly set up. I Sometimes as a judge, I'm like waiting here for a really long time as an exhibitor squares their horse up and then finally waits for permission to walk forward. Don't worry about that so much. Just have your horse straight towards the judge. And what I want you to do right now is you are going to walk Tootsie straight to me. I don't care about your showmanship or anything like that. Although when I show the halter, I try to look pretty too. I am trying to just look at how Tootsie's feet hit the ground and how her legs swing during the, the swing phase, okay? So your job right now is just to walk her nose, that nose, straight to my belly button, all right? Point her nose at my belly button. Then I'm gonna step off to the side and then you can trot around. And here is something that hardly ever happens, guys. You need to trot so that you're straight away from me, which I know Olivia's gonna do a fantastic job of. And then you're gonna basically turn a square corner so I can see Tootsie from the side. If you just trot like a big angled line to the back of like the line, let's say if we had a lot of horses lined up, I don't ever get to see her move from the side. So I don't ever get to see like how pretty her trot is, how long her strides are, what her top line looks like. So I need to make sure I see her from the front from the back and from the side. Does that all make sense? Okay, all right, girl, let's do this. Nose to the belly button. I'll step aside, she's gonna trot off. I'm gonna step behind. I'm gonna try to grab her number probably right now. And then she's gonna turn an L around the cone and I am good, I'm done judging. Now she is gonna go up to the ring steward, Miss Claire Bear here, okay, and and it's okay, you're fine. And then you just get lined up and we're gonna line up head to tail for safety purposes. We're not gonna line up too close um, to the horse right in front of you, okay? And you're just gonna square her up. We're gonna have all three of you girls do that, okay? And then we'll talk about how to show in the line. All right, Miss Laney has hardly ever shown the halter before. So she's a true beginner. You just walk straight to me, girl. He's plenty straight. Yep, you don't have to set them up. Belly button, nose, and then trot away and turn an L right now. Very good, that's good. Now get lined up behind Tootsie. Not too close, so that's too close for me. Let's back him up three steps. Good, that's perfect right there, Lainey, thank you. Okay, we do guys, we have a mixed breed, mixed gender class here today, but that's okay. 
Confirmation is confirmation. We can still talk about it. And Turner, so I can see the side view. That's what I need to see, guys. That's the money shots. I saw all of them right there. That's great. And you would be surprised how often I get to see that. Okay, so even if um, this line went all the way down the arena, you still turn at the cone. You still, and obviously your show arena is gonna be a little bigger than this one. Um, you still trot so the judge can see your horse move. And then you can go wander back to the arena or to the end of the line, okay? You want to have your horse in the same order that you guys came in the arena, all right? And then when I talked about the girls, Olivia is doing it beautifully right now. She is going to stay in that spot the whole dang time, all right? This is not a showmanship class. You do not have to switch sides. At most, if you do wanna switch sides, you can just be on the opposite side of the judge. But I told Olivia that she can just stay right there as long as she is in front of her horse's nose, not like in front of their toes where it's dangerous to stand, but she's not basically blocking her mare's pretty head right now, okay? Her job is to hopefully keep her horse's attention, lift up her head a little bit, and maybe get her ears up and just keep her standing square. Look, and she keeps wiggling. That's real life right here. Um, but she's going to stand right there. And I'm going to tell you why I like that as well. It's because when I go to look at this horse, I already kind of know what her legs look like, right? I already saw her move. Now I really want to see how she looks set up square. And I want to be able to compare her to the horses down the line. Okay. This is all a class of comparison. I'm comparing this horse to the ideal and I am comparing this horse to the others in the class. And you'll notice that if Olivia doesn't move, if I wanna catch her back number, I can anytime I want. But when someone does the showmanship dance with you, I can't ever catch their back number. So just stay there. Um, but don't block your horse's head. Lainey is, but she's doing it for me. So you can see here, I can't see that horse's head. So go ahead and stand out in front of his nose a little bit more, Lainey. Good, and hold his head up. Now I can see your horse's head, okay? You can see Shrek is being a typical gelding here and he's hanging out. So we'll try to wake him up a little bit. Uh, it's not really taken into the evaluation of the judging at all. It just shows that he's being sleepy and lazy. Okay. So I'm checking out the confirmation from the profile. Ideally, I like to step really far away so that I can see that. Um, so here we can see we don't have Molly, our third horse in the line here, our mare, set up real square. And it gives her kind of the appearance as if she toes out and she stands kind of wide in the front. So if we set her up just a little better, Addie, she would look um, a little more structurally correct from the legs down to her feet. So just keep that in mind. It does matter how you set them up. Now it's not going to like crazily change things, but it definitely does affect the overall picture. Okay. So I have seen these horses from all angles. These girls did great. So the showing the halter tutorial is essentially done at this point. And since I need to put my money where my mouth is, I said I would place this class. All right. So Again, keep in uh, mind that this is a mixed breed, mixed gender class, which you typically won't see, although you might at the open show level. So right now you need to keep Tootsie's head lifted up. Yep. Good. So I'm just trying to teach her how to show her a little bit better so she looks her best. So Tootsie's definitely going to win this class. So she is not only the most muscular, the most fit in the class, she's also the best balance. She's got the most slope to her shoulder. She's shortest over her top line. Um... And again, the fittest horse in the class. So if you look at how her neck attaches to her shoulder, it's nice and smooth. We're going to see some differences when we go to Shrek. Um, part of this is due to age, but that's okay. I'm not judging potential here. I'm judging what I see on this day. And Tootsie is giving me a really pretty overall balanced um, look. And she's certainly muscular and fit. And so we're liking what we see. Another good thing about Tootsie is that she has a feminine head, um, which is important. 
your girls should look like girls. This it does not look that pretty on the picture, but there, that's a little better. <laughs> I swear, she has a cute head in real life. Okay, then we're gonna go, sorry, Mr. Shrekers, you're gonna be my third place. I love you though, all right? But we're gonna talk about third place in a bit. We're coming down here to our second place horse. So she is most similar to my winner in that she is round in her hip, a little shorter and stronger over her top line than our third place horse that we'll see here. But she does get a little coarse through her neck. Um, she's a little overweight, which we just talked about. We're going to work on a little bit. It's a easy thing for Miss Molly to get overweight. I can relate to that. <laughs> so that does take that does get taken into consideration today. Um, but perhaps if she got a little more fit, the tie in at her neck, it might not look so short and thick there and um, and things might clean up a little bit. Um, but overall, she's definitely the second place horse in the class, mostly because of her top line and her hip, but she does have a steeper shoulder than our winner. Okay, so let's look at this horse real quick. And then we're gonna go back to our winner. Just so you can see some of that difference I talked about. Again, guys, this is like the fastest crash course in Halter ever. All right, now we're gonna go to our third place horse. And we love Mr. Shrek, so hopefully he does not take offense. Josh, I am coming to your farm to do the Arabian Halter video. I'm all about that but I do not have anybody that would suffice at the barn for that. So this is a stock type video. Anyway, so Shrek here, he's the coarsest of the three. He's definitely the longest and the weakest in his top line. He gets kind of sharp in his hip angles, um, not real round, doesn't have a lot of mus muscle. Um, I think he probably does have a more laid back shoulder uh, than our, third or our second place mare. Um, and he's got a longer neck than her. So you always should find the grants in a horse over the other. And Shrek definitely has some good qualities there. Um, but he's just coarse, not real fit. And mostly his, the weakness and the length in his top line are just going to make it really, really hard for Shrek to probably ever kill it in the halter arena. But I should also mention that my favorite show horses were also not halter horses. So that's okay. Um, so I hope that was useful. Hi guys, I hope that was useful. These girls did an awesome job. Thank you very much, you guys are free. By the way, you don't have to keep working. Uh, but now you know how to show the halter, you know, just a tiny bit on how to judge the halter and I can do more videos. I am working on a piece of curriculum to help you judge the halter. Um, so that will be much more complete than the talk I just gave in the last couple minutes. But um, please, just in halter, a couple last minute tidbits. Show your horse to the judge. That's what they're looking at in the halter. So walk your horse straight to that judge so they can see their feet and see how straight they move, see if there's any crazy deviations. All the horses we had today, nobody had any crazy legs or any crazy um, structural faults that we needed to talk about. So we really just got to look at the profile view and pick them apart. Um, and then when you get in the lineup, and this would be true for any um, type of horse that you're showing, stay out of the judge's way, okay? stay in one place, maybe just stay on the opposite side, whatever you want, um, but make sure I can see that whole horse. Don't block their pretty head, keep their head lifted up, um, not shoved up, you know, at a comfortable spot, uh, but show that horse to the judge and don't worry about showing yourself, okay? You got lots of time to do that the rest of the show day. So I hope this was useful, short enough that it's manageable to watch, um, and I'll, if you keep giving me ideas, I'll keep doing videos, and thank you to my awesome helpers tonight. All right, guys, have a good, what are we on? Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Have a good Wednesday night. Bye.